Assalamu alaikum class. How are you today? We meet you on today. It's still in our unit 7, out and about. Now we are going to focus on page 67. On this topic, you are going to learn about singular and plural forms. Before we go on, I want you to repeat after me. Listen to the pronunciation and repeat after me. Dengar teacher sebut dan kamu sebut kemudiannya. Dark. Dark. Horse. Horse. Sheep, sheep, mouse, mouse, cow, cow, wolf, wolf, goat, goat. Now, we repeat again. Dark. What is dark? Dark ialah E, T. Mouse. Mouse. Mouse ialah T, K. Cow. Cow. Cow ialah L, B. Goat. Goat. Goat ialah Kambing. Horse. Horse. Horse ialah kuda. Sheep. Sheep. Sheep ialah kambing biri biri. And the last one here. Wolf. Wolf. Wolf maksudnya serigala. There are all animals at the farm. Now, this is uh, page 66 in your textbook, Get Plus uh, 3. Okay, before you are going, uh, before, before you listening to the story, I'm going to read Okay, I'm going to read first and I'm going to tell you the meanings. Okay, Greg and Anna are on Uncle Sam's farm. Uncle Sam is showing the animals to the children. Okay, Greg dengan Anna berada di ladang Uncle Sam. So, Uncle Sam memperkenalkan haiwan-haiwan yang ada di uh, ladangnya. This is Daisy the dog and that is Henry the horse. Okay, Uncle Sam kata, ini ialah Daisy. Ha, itik ni namanya Daisy dan kuda ni namanya Henry. So, Anna asking, how many horses are there on the farm, Uncle Sam? Ha, dia tanya, ada berapa ekor kuda di ha, ladang Uncle Sam? Just one, but I have got 10 ducks and 15 cows. Okay, saya cuma ada seekor kuda. Tetapi, saya ada 10 ekor itik dan 15 ekor uh, lembu. Now, Greg is asking Uncle Sam. Greg tanya Uncle Sam. Do ducks eat tomatoes? Ha, dia tanya. Adakah itik makan tomato? So, Uncle Sam kata, Of course, they love them. Oh, sudah tentu. Itik suka makan tomato. What other animals are there on the farm? Eh, Anna tanya lagi, Apakah haiwan lagi, uh, haiwan lain yang ada di ladang? So, Uncle Sam kata, Goats and sheep. I have got 20 goats and 45 sheep. 
ada kambing dan biri-biri. Eh, angka sem ada 20 ekor kambing dan 45 ekor biri-biri. I make cheese with the with the milk. It's delicious. So Uncle Sam kata, saya buat apa? Saya buat keju daripada susu. Eh, Susu ni datang daripada mana? Daripada uh, kambing, eh, daripada daripada lembu. Uh. Jadi hasil daripada susu mereka tu uh, dibuat uh, keju dan susu. Look Greg, a mouse. Where is it going? Eh, Anna tanya, tengok Greg, ada ada tikus. Ke manakah tikus-tikus itu pergi? Ha, kat mana tikus tu pergi? Uncle Sam, the mice love your cheese. Shoo, 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 go away. Ha, rupa-rupanya tikus tu semua datang makan keju Uncle Sam. Now, let's listen to the story. Activity 1. Listen and read. Greg and Anna are on Uncle Sam's farm. Uncle Sam is showing the animals to the children. This is Daisy the duck, and that is Henry the horse. How many horses are there on the farm, Uncle Sam? Just one, but I have got ten ducks and fifteen cows. Do ducks eat tomatoes? Of course. They love them. What other animals are there on the farm? Goats and sheep. I have got 20 goats and 45 sheep. I make cheese with the milk. It's delicious. Look, Greg, a mouse. Where is it going? Uncle Sam, the mice love your cheese. Shoo! Shoo! Go away! Okay, now class. Okay, look at the slide here. Okay, the first word here, singular. Okay, let's say together, singular. Singular means one. Singular maksudnya satu. Satu ekor haiwan, satu ekor, eh, satu satu benda, eh, sebatang pokok. Ah, contoh, itu satu. And, and this one is plural. Plural means more than one. When I say plural, it means more than one. Plural maksudnya lebih daripada satu. Now, look at uh, this uh, this word. Okay, duck, goat, cow, horse, chicken, tomato, wolf, mouse, sheep, and child. Okay, these are all in singular form. Okay, semua perkataan ni dalam bentuk singular. Menunjukkan satu. And now, the opposite for singular is plural. Okay, look at here. Duck. It means one duck. Satu ekor itik. Kalau banyak, kita akan tambah dengan huruf S. Ducks. And we pronounce with S sound. Eh, kita bunyikan huruf S di belakangnya bila kita sebut ducks. Okay. Goat, bila banyak dia akan jadi goats. Cow, lembu, bila banyak jadi cows. Horse, plural, horses. horses. Eh, kita tambah huruf S. Chicken, eh, seekor ayam. Bila banyak, ada banyak ayam, kita tambahkan S, jadi chickens. Okay. Tomato, look at the spelling, tengok ejaan. T-O-M-A-T. 
T-O. When it becomes to plural, we add E-S. Kita tambahkan huruf E-S di belakang perkataan asal. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Eh, bunyi S. Tapi ejaannya ada penambahan. E-S. Wolf. Seekor seri gala. When it comes to the plural, okay, the pronoun is wolves. Wolf. Eh, F buang digantikan dengan V-E-S. Wolf. Wolf. Okay, mouse. Okay, this is the special word here. Eh, perkataan istimewa. Mouse seekor tikus. Bila ada dua ekor tikus, tiga ekor tikus dan seterusnya, kita terus tukar dia kepada mice. M-I-C-E Mice eh, Bukan mouses Ada S Salah Dia tukar terus jadi mice Sheep Sheep eh, Biri Biri When it comes to the plural So it's also the special one It doesn't change the spelling eh, Ejaannya tidak bertukar Sama sahaja Sheep Sheep Okay, child, seorang kanak-kanak. Eh, satu orang kanak-kanak. Bila lebih daripada seorang, it comes to the word children. Children. So, after this, when you see this word children, it means more than one. Okay, now, let's say together with me the plural forms. Ducks. Goats, cows, horses, chickens, tomatoes, wolf, mice, sheep, children. So, that's all for today class. Thanks for watching. Till we meet again. Bye. See you again.